What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a breaking news story and we now have six lead-in tournaments happening the week before the Australian Open. Also, the ATP Cup has been pushed back a couple of days to make room for the schedule as well. So we have six tournaments going on at the same time in the one place. That is a very unique situation. Let's go check out what those tournaments are. So starting on the 31st of January, we have two WTA 500 events, the Gippsland Trophy and the Yarra Valley Classic. Of course, both happening at Melbourne Park. That'll conclude on the 6th of February. Then on the 1st of February, we have two ATP 250 events happening. The Great Ocean Road Open and the Murray River Open, both again at Melbourne Park. They will conclude on the 7th of February. Then the ATP Cup is now going to be played on the 2nd of February, which is a Tuesday, and it will be finished on the 6th of February. And then a third WTA tournament is happening as well now on the 3rd until the 7th of February, the Grampians Trophy. And that tournament is brought in because of the players that are in hard quarantine. So all the players playing in that event are the ones that have been affected by the 14-day quarantine where they can't leave and can't train. So it makes it a little bit more fair because they'll all be on the same level. And again, that's happening at Melbourne Park. So six tournaments are all happening simultaneously before the Australian Open. They've added that WTA tournament to give those players that are in hard quarantine, you know, on Drescue, we have Azarenka, Sakari as well. They get to play their own event. So that's fair because that means that they don't have to play against players who have had five hours a day to train. But let me know down in the comments below, is this too much tennis? I know we probably can't get enough tennis right now because we've had none for the last three weeks. But is this too much? Do you think too many events in one spot? It's going to be a bit too crazy. And then, of course, the Australian Open happening straight after that on the 8th of February. But the ATP Cup has been pushed back an extra couple of days and another WTA 500 event happening in Melbourne. 